Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about vintage self-care activities that you could still do today. So sometimes I always like to wonder what people did in different decades, like in the 50s. And back then they didn't have all the technology that we had today. So what were people doing for fun and what were people doing for self-care? So I'm going to go through and talk about a different self-care activities that people did back in the day. So one of the first ones on the list is getting your hair done. So in the 1950s and 1960s, it was very common to go to the beauty salon at least once a week and get your hair done. And this would consist of getting like a, your hair washed and a full hair set. And even most recently, maybe a year ago, I went to this kind of vintage salon and it was kind of a combination of elderly people as well as younger people and there's this really cute elderly lady there and the hairdresser said that she always went there once a week to get her hair done in curls and set and then she would wouldn't wash it all week and then go back again and i kind of like that idea and obviously now with the pandemic people aren't necessarily going to the salon because in a lot of cities they're closed but you can do this at home so i actually have a vintage hair dryer that you can sit under and it's actually really relaxing and I'll put my hair in a hair mask. Sometimes I'll use that hair cholesterol product or create my own hair mask with like eggs or olive oil or mayonnaise and just sit under there and read a vintage magazine. And it's actually super relaxing. And if salons are open and you feel comfortable, you can also go to the salon and get your hair washed and styled in a vintage look. And another vintage activity that people used to do back in the day was take a Sunday drive. So I know that sounds stressful, getting in the car, driving in traffic, but back in the day this was considered to be an act of self-care. So people used to plan a getaway even for the day, go for a picnic, drive out to the country and take the scenic route, maybe go to a small little town, check out like a new shop or a restaurant that you've never been to. And it's just nice to go out of your comfort zone and maybe head out to the country. I know with restrictions with the pandemic, this might not always be easy, but it is nice to get out of the house and drive around. And I remember when I was a kid, we used to always go for drives and we'd take the scenic route, go along the ocean, listen to music. So it is a nice activity to do, especially if you're feeling cooped up inside. And another vintage activity is develop a relaxing skincare routine. So back in the 50s, a woman, you won't believe it, but they had an extensive skincare routine and cold cream was one of their main staples in their skincare routine and this was used as a cleanser and a makeup remover and if you want a really good cold cream I recommend Besame Cosmetics cold cream especially since they have the vintage inspired packaging with the glass and once you run out you could even refill it with a cheaper cold cream like a Pond's because it is on the pricier side and they also have a vanishing cream which is incredible under makeup I love it because it kind of mattifies your skin smooths it out and it works as the perfect base before you put on makeup and they also have a really good night cream which I've been using and a day cream and they're all unscented so they're perfect for sensitive skin and I just really love the packaging and I know it's a little bit more expensive so if you just want to buy it the first time just for the packaging. I highly recommend it, especially if you kind of want to create that vintage vanity look. And there's also other cheaper, more affordable cold creams too. But if you want to kind of do a vintage nighttime routine, I highly recommend investing in a cold cream. And another vintage self-care activity is finding a creative hobby. So obviously before the days of Netflix, TV and social media, people had a different type of hobbies. And this would include things like knitting, crocheting, scrapbooking, painting, and other vintage crafts, even like needle point or needle felting. And a lot of these crafts are actually making a comeback and you can do these crafts even while you watch TV if you still wanna watch Netflix but I used to do needle felting while I watched TV and I thought it was very relaxing and fun. And you could even do painting, there's paint by numbers and there's even like vintage painting videos like Bob Ross. So there's a lot of things you can do. And another great activity is cooking. So back in the day, people would spend more time cooking and meal prepping and people just weren't as busy as today. Nowadays, people do not spend as much time in the kitchen cooking and back then even in the 50s cooking was considered almost an act of self-care 
and people just didn't eat out very much like today like nowadays because fast food is so cheap and a lot of food is really cheap and readily available especially with all these apps like skip the dishes and stuff people are eating out constantly like even when i was asking my mom she said when she was a kid like they never ate out like maybe twice a year like it wasn't a common thing to be constantly eating out like today so even just spending time creating a meal even if it's not every day coming up with a plan and spending the time relaxing and just slowly making a nice meal for yourself or your friends or your family can be a relaxing activity and i even have a vintage cookbooks with vintage recipes so i have a betty crocker one featuring a long lost betty crocker recipes from the 50s and 60s as well as another vintage cookbook so you could even recreate vintage recipes from different decades if you want to take it to the next level and another relaxing activity is taking a bath so i know this seems obvious but back in the day taking a bath was a nice self-care activity and people were taking baths all the way back in 300 AD with the Romans and there's lots of health benefits of taking a bath. It's good for muscle relaxation, you can use Epsom salts in your bath and this really helps relax your muscles and gives you a sense of calm. And you can also use bath bombs or a vintage bubble bath. I love Avon bubble baths. I have these cute cat ones and vintage scents and you can even use candles and kind of create a whole home spa day with your your bath and another vintage activity for self-care is reading a book or a vintage magazine I know this seems obvious and I need to do this more myself is spend time reading or even just flipping through a magazine sometimes it's nice to take a break from the screen even taking a break from a Kindle I really like the act of actually flipping pages it's really tactile and I actually find it very calming to flip through a magazine it gives you sensory elements and even the smell of an old book, the smell of the paper. It's just a lot different than looking at a screen. And especially before bed, if you even go to bed an hour earlier and read a magazine or even a vintage magazine, and just take the time to read instead of looking at your screen. Cause I'm guilty of that too, watching TV or going on my phone all the way up until bedtime and then it's really hard to shut off. So that is a nice activity. And back in the day, people would always read in the evenings and they would spend time reading magazines and because cable TV shut off at night. I think even when I was younger, I remember maybe I think it was midnight, like between midnight and 5 a.m. there was no TV. It would just go all scratchy or like color bars. So back in the day, people didn't have access to TV and entertainment 24 seven. And another activity is actually going shopping in a store. I know with COVID, this can be difficult. So if you don't feel comfortable doing that, obviously don't, but a lot of stores do have precautions in place. And it is nice to support smaller businesses that are struggling instead of going to big box stores all the time. It is kind of relaxing. I remember fondly going with friends to the mall when I was younger or even going with my mom to the department store. I know in Canada we have the Bay and it's sad because it's hard to think that some of these department stores may not survive. The Bay in Canada has such a rich history. It's been around for hundreds of years and I even used to work there in high school so I want these stores to stay in business and you can even go during hours when they're not as busy to support them. It's just nice to actually see the clothes, try them on, or you can even go thrift shopping. I find that to be a fun activity, just looking for vintage stuff, finding cute things. So it's up to you, do what's ever in your comfort zone, but that was a fun activity back in the day that people used to do. And shopping was considered a form of therapy and self-care. And another activity is going outside. I know, again, this seems obvious, but back in the day before Netflix and everything, people spent a lot more time outside. Kids would play outside more. People wouldn't be playing video games constantly. So maybe once in a while, you know, have your morning coffee outside, go to the park for a picnic. Sometimes it's nice to get a little bit of vitamin D. I know this is harder in the winter time, but maybe just Think of different ways you can spend more time outside, even going for a walk around the block. But I don't know, when I was a kid, I just remember always being outside. And I feel like my youth was more like those movies like Sandlot or Stand By Me or Goonies. We'd be biking around doing fun things. And this one, again, this is another surprising thing that seems obvious. Another vintage self-care activity is making your bed every morning. So I'm guilty of not doing this, making my bed every morning. 
it is a nice way to kind of feel fresh when you go back to bed that evening and it looks really nice throughout the day to have like a nice made bed and it is a form of self-care and back in the day in the 50s like everyone made their bed it was more common even if you see photos like people spent a lot of time making their bed they have like their whole matching bed set with the cute pillow shams and the bed skirt so it was definitely a form of self-care and it is nice to kind of put that extra effort into your bedroom and just kind of see this beautifully made bed and another form of self-care and a vintage activity is sitting down to eat breakfast I know this may sound crazy, but a lot of people don't sit down to eat breakfast or even eat breakfast. A lot of people eat breakfast in their car, they're going through the fast food drive through I don't know, they're just not taking the time to have a nice morning ritual of sitting down to eat breakfast and it can be very beneficial to your mental health if you're just sitting down, even if it's for 15 minutes just sitting there and reading the newspaper, just relaxing, taking time, you know, enjoying the morning sunshine and just eating something healthy. And it kind of gets your mind off your busy day and just gives you more energy for the day. And this is what people did in previous generations. And lastly, another good vintage self-care activity is painting your nails. Again, this may seem obvious, but it can be really relaxing to take the time to give yourself a nice at-home manicure. You could do this before bed, you could do this, you know, on a Sunday afternoon while watching TV and, you know, soak your nails. I have a vintage manicure set, so you could buy one of those, file your nails, use a nice retro nail color, like I have a, some nice vintage Revlon ones, like Fire and Ice, if you want a really nice retro nail. I know I suck at painting nails, but it is really relaxing and nice to look down at a nice polished finger, and it can be a nice activity of self-care. You can even do it while you read a magazine as well. So I really enjoyed researching this video and I love looking back at different activities that people did in different decades. And I know self-care is huge right now because a lot of people are stressed. So I hope these activities can inspire you and help you to feel happier and have more self-care in your daily lives. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Dahlia's in the attic. I'll link that below.